In 1952, the British stunned the world by introducing the first ever jet-powered airliner. The de Havilland Comet flew nearly twice as fast as any airliner before it, and 15,000 feet higher. Developing it had been a massive effort requiring years of research and development. And while jet engines were still relatively new and unproven, many could see that they were the next evolution in air travel, including one famous aircraft designer from the Soviet Union named Andrei Tupolev, who saw them as a way to bring Soviet air travel into the future. A jet airliner like the Comet could cut flying times down by a third and enable air travel on a mass scale. The problem was Soviet leadership saw jets as unreliable, fuel-thirsty, and expensive. An excess better left to greedy Western capitalists. What's more, the Comet had taken the better part of 10 years and millions to develop, time and resources that Soviet leaders weren't eager to invest. But knowing this, Tupolev had a plan. He promised a top Soviet brass that he could build them a jet in just three years. A reliable jet airliner with even more passenger capacity than the Comet, built at a fraction of the cost. What's more, a Soviet-designed jet airliner would prove to the world that the Soviet Union was every bit as advanced as the West. It was an offer they couldn't refuse. But 